Wow. Wow. Let's hear it for these talented performers that all performed for you tonight. I'll tell you, if America's Got Talent is casting tonight, I hope they're in the audience. Especially Laura Bush, because let's face it, it can't be easy. Last week I was watching The Secret with Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> and I said Pelosi, because that's what I call her. How do we tap into the future of America? How do we find a new future for America? I want to start a conversation with America. I want to start a conversation with 300 million people. It's going to get a little noisy, especially if you all answer back at the same time. Now, Bill started a lot of conversations with America, but they mostly went something like this. That's a beautiful dress. Can I buy you a mojito? Staying here at the Ramada Inn. I don't want to start a conversation like that. I want to start a virtual tat a tat with America. I want to vogue into your lives if you'll let me. I want to put the yo factor on blast to quote Randy Jackson of American Idol. I want to plug into your laptops and iPods and Blackberries and USB cords. And <laughs> I want to write a virtual letter into outer space to every American. I want America to go to outer space and get that letter. I want them to read that letter and then write me a letter and then put some virtual stamps on it and send it back via YouTube or MySpace. It's so important for me to talk to the young people. Earlier tonight, there was a scene between a mother and daughter, and it reminded me of Chelsea and me. <laughs> Just sitting around the dining room table, making her eat her potatoes. <laughs> we always got through it one way or the other, and luckily, neither one of us ended up in the electric chair. <laughs> Now, I instilled in Chelsea some American core values that I grew up with. I was born in the middle of this country, in a middle class home. I even slept in the middle of my tiny bed. <laughs> and when it comes to controversy, I'm always going to be in the middle of one. I think America loves the middle, don't you? I think the only middle America doesn't love is this one. <laughs> And I think George W. Bush has been giving us this medal for a little too long. <laughs> Last week, I had the opportunity to go to New Mexico, and I met a young woman named Maria who had 22 children and lived in a shoe. <laughs> I want Maria to have more in life than that. I want her to move to a bigger shoe or even a boot. About Maria, and I don't think George W. cares a whole lot about Maria. Now I've got a lot of formidable opponents, and they're good people. Barack Obama is a good man. He's a knowledgeable man, but he's not the man for the job. I'm the man for the job. <laughs> you know, they play both sides of the coin with me. They call me too mannish and say that I'm too power-driven, and then they complain about cleavage when I catch a little of it in a photo of me. I think it's terrible that this country is more focused on cleavage than the educational bill I was trying to pass through Congress that day. But you know what? If it's cleavage, you want it. <laughs> I think in a contest of cleavage, I've got the other guys beat, don't you? <laughs> you know, America is a wonderful place, and it gives people a lot of great opportunities. Earlier tonight, we saw a lovely lovely dance, uh, the nylon dance performed by some of the women. I know Bill enjoyed it thoroughly. He's backstage now. In fact, he's, he's talking to some of the dancers right now. I enjoyed it, and I, I have to admit I was vaguely titillated by it. You know, earlier this week, the, uh, the advocate asked me if I was a lesbian, and I'm not a lesbian, though it looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> 
think that Billery is a little too much of a force to bring a third party into, so I don't go down that road. <laughs> but I did play softball in an all-women's league undergrad, and I have to say, I, I played a main third base. <laughs> and I can change my own oil. And I'd take an under five on the L word if I got to make out with Jennifer Beals, but I digress. <laughs> I think those dancers were beautiful tonight, and I think they all should audition for So You Think You Can Dance. But I want to make an America that has a reality show called So You Think You Might Be Gay. Because that's the kind of future I want in America. Because you know what? Whether you're gay or not, there's a little m and in everyone. That's my policy. And I feel great about it. For a moment, I'd like to speak to some of the Southerners in the audience. <laughs> some of the people who feel the pride of the Southern man, who still miss Confederate money and are shocked that they lost the war. <laughs> and tell them it's going to be okay whether they live in Texas or any other state. We are going to make a new nation for them, all the way up to Maine, to the Blueberry Pants. <laughs> and the lobster farmers who work so hard to bring their lobsters in them up and serve them with their blueberry pie. <laughs> and if you'll indulge me, I'd like to go south of the border now, I'm in Ava. <laughs> and I think you're going to think, boy, I'm going to get some pie over here. I'm going to go to the border, but 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 I'm going to go to the I want to make my message as clear as what I just said. <laughs> I know there's a lot of issues out there that, that people might want to ask me about and, and find out my opinion on, and I'm here to answer them. Is there anybody who, who'd like to ask a question? Right here. Yes. Why a red bra? Excuse Why me? Color? Why red for the bra? <laughs> Why red for the bra? I don't know. I put crimson on your titties. <laughs> What's her name? Yana. Yana. Yana, that's a great name. <laughs> you know, Yana, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is of Russian descent. And I want you to know that there's a there's a bit of communism in all of us that will help us. <laughs> Just knowing the, the, the yesteryear of your heritage, naming you Yana, coming from the East Block and the Eastern Curtain and knowing what you people had to get through, I don't always, always want to remember how tough it is to be a communist and how lucky we are to be capitalists. <laughs> that we can make a dime and we can make third pounders and make troughs for people to eat out of. <laughs> and we can make a country that publishes Nicole Richie as an author. <laughs> and that doesn't scare the hell out of everyone else. It sure scares the hell out of me. So from one inner communist to another, Yana, great question. <laughs> Listen, I got a late night meeting with some young people at Jamba Juice, but this has been absolutely wonderful. God bless America.